does your WAN automatically route network traffic to the best path to make sure your critical applications always perform well? Go for our fully managed ISO SD-WAN that gives you intelligent routing for optimal performance of your applications. ISO SD-WAN Select helps you manage your critical applications in a blackout situation without any downtime and ensures business continuity. Let's see this use case for our offices in Singapore and Hong Kong, connected by the MPLS primary link and the ISO Internet WAN secondary link for Polycom traffic. To simulate a blackout scenario, let's unplug the MPLS link. As soon as this happens, we observe a seamless traffic failover to the ISO Internet WAN link. When the MPLS link is reconnected, the traffic moves back from ISO Internet WAN to MPLS without any interruption or performance loss. Let's see how ISO SD-WAN Select seamlessly switches traffic during a blackout using the application traffic graph. Let's see how the connections are set up between Hong Kong and Singapore via the ISO SD-WAN self-service portal. You can see that the first traffic priority is MPLS to MPLS and the second priority is Internet to Internet. Here's the application traffic graph of the Singapore location. The green and black lines represent the MPLS link. All traffic is currently on MPLS link. Let's unplug the MPLS link. As soon as we disconnect the MPLS link, the traffic seamlessly shifts to ISO Internet WAN. Once we reconnect the MPLS link, within the recompute time in seconds, traffic automatically returns to the MPLS link. Let's see this in a real-life example. Naveen in Singapore is video conferencing with Nora in Hong Kong using the primary MPLS and the secondary ISO Internet WAN links. Let's go live to Naveen. Hi everyone, this is Naveen and uh, I'm based out of Singapore and this Polycom video call is between Singapore and Hong Kong. Uh, and right now if you see this Polycom call is actually flowing via the MPLS link. Now, if you see the graph, the green and black lines are representing the RX and TX for this critical traffic, which is flowing via the GVPN. Now, in this blackout scenario, what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the GVPN cable from SD-WAN box and simulate a blackout scenario for, for this use case. What is going to happen is the call is going to shift to the ISO Internet WAN seamlessly and we're going to see uh, this particular behavior of SD-WAN. So here I'm actually pulling the cable from the SD-WAN CP, the uh, seamless call flow and it has actually moved from MPLS to GVPN. And if you go back to the graph, the graph represents there are again two lines representing RX and TX flowing on an ISO internet van. Now this simulates one of the behaviors of SD van where call is shifting back to uh, ISO internet van in the case of blackout scenarios. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to again insert this MPLS link back to the CP and we'll see how after a recompute timer which is configured uh, the call is again going to shift back to MPLS. So here I insert the cable back to the CP and we will notice after the recompute timer the call is again going to shift back seamlessly to the MPLS link. Here you go. I mean, if you see uh, the MPLS links have actually sort of taken over for uh, this particular Polycom video call and seamlessly the traffic has switched back to the MPLS link. So that completes the blackout scenario of SD-WAN. In the analytics and reporting section, you can view in real time the network utilization. 